welcome to my channel. Well, I haven't contacted Olight about this yet. Um, that's kind of like throwing in the towel, admitting defeat. Because I, I should be able to solve this. I, I worked in electronics before. Uh, I should be able to figure out what the problem is, but I haven't. And it wakes me up in the middle of the night. You know, I wake up in the middle of the night, insomnia anyway sometimes, and I come up here and I try to figure this out, and then I give up, and then I think of another thing, and I give up. Um, so, let's write down what we got. The light doesn't run 1.2 volt batteries. And it says it should in the manual. Now, 3.7, we can understand if it wouldn't run those. But not in, the, in this situation, it doesn't make sense. Um, so, in the process of isolating it, you know, there's basically only really two components to this, if you look at it. I mean, two components that separate the head and the body. All right. Yeah, there's a spring down there. All that spring does is make a connection to the base of this and spread it to the body of the flashlight. That's all that does. Here's a head, or a, a head-body combination that won't run a 1.2. 1.2 volt. We'll look here real close so you can see what it says. Triple A 1.2 volt. 1100 milliamp hour. Made in China. I think this is nickel metal hydride. Yeah, somewhere. Somewhere it says it. Anyway, that. Oh yeah, it's right below it. Nickel metal hydride battery, abbreviated NIMH. It should run this. I'm tightened all the way down. You can see. Sorry. You can see it's all the way down. Won't run it. Let me put it back in. <clears throat> we'll run it with the green head on here. Won't run it. Green heads all the way down. <clears throat> Alrighty, we've got a mystery here. I could see if it's not running the 1.2 due to all the little electronics in here. You know, there could be something whacked inside there. You've got a voltage regulator, I think, and some integrated circuits and some resistors and capacitors. But the main thing is that center post is a positive, positive connection, and these copper rings on either side are the negative connection to the board. So your contact is coming from right here. Right? That's where your voltage is being transmitted up to. So, my thought was, since we know it's, it's narrowed down to, it's got to be a, the difference in the body, what's the difference between these two bodies? They're both anodized, they're both in a special colorized, colorized thing. Now, I want, I want to caution you one thing with calipers, they're usually steel jaws, so never try to measure a battery like this. With one of these, put some tape on it. You can put some tape on it and, and re-zero it, you know, and it'll, it'll, you'll be able to measure a battery. But we're not messing with the battery right now because we know the battery, I don't think the battery is the issue. It's the body of the flashlight. This isn't a super good place, you know, to measure, but it's better than nothing. It's a good surface. 47 point... 7-2. Oops. I'll try to do this to the lens. 
47.84. They're basically identical. I'm just rotating it around trying to get it. So that's that's the same. Now I was thinking maybe the distance between here, you know, the lip. Because if, if it didn't compress as much on one, but it did on the other, but that, that wouldn't make any sense electronically. 11.39. That wouldn't make a sense electronically because if it wouldn't work with one, oh, this is shorter. Am I measuring? No, I wasn't measuring. Trying to do any, it's the same. It's basically the same. I'm going to get it down here where I can visually see it and then. 11.1 .1 on this one. We're getting a little bit thicker on this one. Could that be it? It looks like it's 11.81. That wouldn't make any sense, though. Huh? Same thing. Sorry, taking so long. Wall thickness with thread. Let's see, let's minus the thread. Let's get down to this last machine part. 0.63 millimeter. I don't, I don't think that's going to have anything to do with that. 0.62 millimeter. So, we've got a battery that provides a plus and a minus. It supplies it to the head. So, in this thing, you've got negative, your negative voltage coming up in the, in the body. I'm not an artist. I'm not an artist. All right. It's coming up in a body of the flashlight through here. And it comes up here. I, I've done this. I sat here earlier and put a battery in here. And measure from here to here. Well, let's do it. Let's show you what's going to go ha what's, what happen. We'll set it to, to uh, 2 volts. Because <clears throat> this should be a 1.2 volt battery. We got the red lead up here. Where is my black lead? We got the red lead up here. This is kind of hard to do. It's kind of hard to do, but I'm going to do it anyway. Better if I had little alligator clip leads and stuff on this, but I get in there and don't. I'm just trying to make contact with the positive up here. And I get in there we're a little bit better. And then I touch it to the body. 1.31 volts. One point three one volts. And this is in the head that won't work but this one will <clears throat> so again pretty much the same thing we put it up here i touch the body 1.31 volts <clears throat> so both of these if it was an, an issue of conductivity or whatever both of these conduct your voltage up to the head so Negative is getting up there. The only thing left is left is positive, and both of these. This makes contact. It's got a button in its head. It it makes contact just as good as is this guy. They're both button top batteries. This one's actually got a better chance. It's got a larger surface diameter up here and down here. Here you've got 
plastic covering, so you really got to have the spiral spring to touch it. This one, if you put just a uh, crushed aluminum foil or just wadded up some aluminum foil down there, it would conduct. So with this one, really, but you know. anyway, so I can't figure that out because it it makes no sense electrically. Resistance wouldn't make any difference if if if. Let's see, we'll make a little light bulb symbol, even though an incandescent one. It's got a little filament. There's your little light bulb, right? If we can supply one point five volts to this light. You know, with a positive and negative. It should work with 1.2. And it should work with 3.7. If other lights like it work with 3.7. This this would be... A, right here would be like the electronics. You would say, okay, if it's, if it's only running 1.5 but not 1.2. Well, then it's a problem in the head. But that's not it. it it'll run 1.2. It'll run 3.7. Look, this is the head that's supposed to be bad, right? It's not supposed to be able to run 1.2. We've tested it. It won't run it. It won't run it. Will it? Oh, it will run it. Wow. What the hell? Now, the only other thing I can think of is maybe the distance between the body up here. They look like they're machined all the way down. Maybe that circuit board. No, no. It's still. It doesn't make any sense right here. Alright. Let's put a 3.7 3 in here. Yeah, they don't recommend it. And blah, blah, blah. It's my flashlight. If it blows up, it blows up. I'm not going to return it for warranty. Boom. <clears throat> so... If anybody can explain this to me electronically, if you've got one of these and you and you do it and you know anything about electronics, fine. I'm gonna try to contact Olight. I'm just kind of like moving slowly right now because I don't know. Anyways, yeah, this is this is a real brain teaser, and yeah, I've made other videos like this before, but I haven't gone as extensive as trying to measure out everything. You know. All, You've taken out all the variables as much as you can, and that's the only thing I could. I don't know where do I put my calipers? <laughs> They're right in front of me. All right, so it, it has to be something in the body, unless the body's machining. Th this is the same, we've already measured that. So maybe the machine depth down here where the through the uh, screws engage eyeballing it they look the same. It's hard to measure that. Let's let's get out here for this. I can measure the width, but that I mean that that ain't gonna make any difference. It'd help if it was turned on zeroed. Yeah, if it's cut, it don't have to go very far to touch this, uh, the battery. The head doesn't have to go very far down to touch the, the positive post. It has to screw down pretty far to touch these negative threads. That would explain if it didn't work at all. You know, if it didn't work at all. didn't work at all with any battery but it'll work with an alkaline anyway i suggest olight uh check their bat their all their batch of their i3es with a 1.2 
Check them all. And you're going to run in. You're going to find a lot of them do not work with 1.2s. They only work with alkaline. You're probably just... It ships with alkaline. You're probably just checking them with alkaline. You need to check them with NICADs or nickel metal hydride. I keep saying NICADs. It's just easier to say than NIMACH. NIMACH. NICAD was easier to pronounce. So there you go. There's there's a mystery for you, Olight engineers. Y'all are so um, engineering-like. Got your little degrees and explain that one to me. Come on. If it's in the head, I can understand. I could understand. Because I don't, I don't have a schematic for this head. I don't know what all these little circuits are doing and everything. I can recognize components, but I don't know how it, you know, electronically works. It's probably, I, I don't know if it's proprietary information. But, in a normal troubleshooting procedure, when you swap out the thing where all the brains are at, this is just a conductor. This is all this is. This is just a conductor. It's a, a metal tube. It's just a conductor. We can take a piece of, of wire right here and run from the negative to the light and it will power these with any battery you've got. Why won't it work with this? It, I, don't th I don't think it has anything to do with this screw down dimension because um, here's where we measure the batteries length of the battery so I'll try not to blow myself up <clears throat> let me get some tape non-conductive tape I know this is a long one this is to eliminate all all the the variables The alkaline, it's smaller. Is it? 44.1? Not by much. What are we talking? We're talking minute amounts here. And it shouldn't, it shouldn't make any difference. If it's conducting with a, a smaller one, it should conduct with a longer one. If it works in one body that's the same dimension. You know what it could be? The bottom tube where it's milled. I haven't checked from the bottom wall to the top here. That, it just determines the height of the battery, though. So if this thing compresses, see, it can compress all the way down. You can compress it all the way down. So that's not a, it's not a matter of it couldn't be compressed so that ring would make contact. These go below it, below the lip. Just like the alkaline. I don't know. It's mystified me. The only other thing to do would be to check the resistance. I've done that before. I've checked the resistance. Well, I haven't I haven't checked the resistance because this is I've checked the voltage coming up there. Resistance shouldn't have anything to do with it. If it if it was a problem with resistance, then it it wouldn't work with any any voltage. Here's the upper limit. Here's the lower limit. And here's the middle. So this is a uh, one of those flashlights. It's a Goldilocks flashlight. It's not an old light. It's a Goldilocks. This battery is too small. This battery's too big. This battery is just right. Well, they're all the same size, you stupid light. It'll run. It'll run this head. It'll run that head. I don't know.
But drop in one of these guys. Nothing. Not even a hint of a light. So mystifying. No, this part is too cold. Uh, this part is too hot. I went. You spoil a little brat. You're lucky to have porridge. Kids in China don't have porridge. <laughs> they have fish heads and rice. All right, so there you go. As you can see, another 20 minutes of me trying to figure this out. I have wasted, believe me, I have wasted more than 20 minutes of my life on this. I was just trying to document this maybe so I can just refer Olight to a video and say, Here, look what I did. See if you can duplicate my... Um, problem and if you can figure it out i don't want a refund i want an answer i want an answer because it's a, it's like a puzzle i just can't solve and oh, oh i can usually figure out things i can't figure this one out thank you for watching please don't go insane